When she's not performing, composing, I'm breaking out from behind a mask. I have to go write it down, like instantly. One, two, three, one, two, three. Or teaching little Bella how to master the violin. No bigger. And then taper off. Savannah Hatcher is thinking about music. Day. All right, I'll sniff us in. And night. I think that the music definitely chose me. After all, making melodies is in her DNA. My great uncle is Lawrence Welk. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. Yes, the Chesterfield woman can claim the tiny bubble big band leader as family. If they're like under 30, they have no idea who <laughs> Lawrence Welk is. Savannah knew from an early age her life would be filled with notes of happiness. Absolutely, absolutely. She was destined to become a professional, fulfilling a lifelong dream. They say that if you know you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life, and that's how I feel. Savannah, though, knew something was clearly out of tune. I'm panicking and I'm shaking, I'm, I'm aggravated, I'm annoyed, all of these feelings. She was suffering miserably on the inside. Yes, I self-harmed, I injured myself. Um, I didn't really want to continue. I just lost all hope of living. Savannah simply walked away from playing for five years. I felt a lot of shame, a lot of embarrassment, because I didn't know what was wrong. Her most important gift was suddenly a burden. I thought that my self-worth as a human being was based on how well I played. Savannah needed and sought out help for mental illness, specifically bipolar disorder. I've also had to learn to, to stop my perfectionism and to stop my anxiety. Good, very nice. This teacher also credits her students like Bella Vera Montes right. <laughs> you like that? with helping her emerge from the darkness. All right, Miss Overachiever. I have to teach in some capacity for the rest of my life because it is the most amazing feeling. Yeah, good job, Bells. I didn't want to continue, and Bella and the students at that time were the reason that I did continue. Um, they were. <laughs> the 13-year-old. I can just, like, trust her with anything. Says after classmates tease her, she finds comfort and confidence. You got it, very nice. In Savannah. Some people would take a different, darker path. There you go. Not the right path. I've seen some people go down that path, but I have Miss Savannah, so. Right? <laughs> yeah. I've never had siblings, but I've had an opportunity to be a big sister in a lot of ways. Um, <laughs> a big sister. Yeah. The more and more I learn about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the more I appreciate her. Parents of students like Jennifer Spangler say Savannah is an inspiration. To be honest, I really see it as a strength for her practice with students. Yeah, very nice, good. Miss Hatcher is not shying away from her mental illness. It's a relief because if you have an answer, then you have a solution. I won't look back. I've changed my life. In fact, her new single, Metamorphosized, details her success in overcoming. I want my music to heal others and to hopefully inspire more people to follow what their path is. I metamorphosized. Savannah Hatcher embraces music once again. Her goal, spread smiles and tap toes, just like her famous uncle. He knew how to bring joy through music. He had a lot of fun with what he did and he always sent you on a good note at the end of his show. 